Hey, what's going on? This is Andre Sweeney, the Life Specialist. Welcome to the Get a Life Show, the show that gives you the tools and principles necessary for an outstanding life. Today's segment is called Life Nuggets, and today I want to talk to you from the subject, the wheelchair experience. Well, many of you know that uh, I've had muscular dystrophy all my life, and most of the struggles that I've had physically have stemmed from the fact that I'm confined to a wheelchair and I indeed do have muscular dystrophy. That has been my battle and my challenge in life. Well, from that, I came up with this, this saying, and uh, it's called the Wheelchair Experience, or WE. We know that the word we is inclusive of everyone. If I was to come into a room and I told the people in the room, we are going to Red Lobster, that means everybody in the room is going. So I, I, I chose this word because all of us have an experience that has crippled us, has caused us to have to fight or overcome or get past being a victim and get past being depressed and stopped in our endeavors to be successful. So, yeah, don't just look at me because I'm in a wheelchair. Trust me, there's something in your life that makes you cripple just as well. There's something in your life that's hindering you. There's something in your life that's stopping you from being all that you were born to be. And the key to being successful is first recognizing what our we experience is. Once we analyze and understand what our experience is, and once we recognize the enemy, then we can begin to strategically fight our foes as opposed to being hit and not knowing where the punches are coming from. So that is the essence of a we experience. As you know, a wheelchair has four wheels. And so with this uh, mindset of thinking, there are four areas of attack that we all go through, at least one or the other. The first one is physical. This is the one I'm, I'm currently going through. But there are many other things. There are people out there right now that, that are suffering with cancer, diabetes, high blood pressure, HIV, AIDS, all sorts of things. When your body is attacked, there's something that is debilitating about that. It makes your mind work overdrive because you feel like, man, it's not fair. I'm not starting out with a clean deck like everybody else is. And so what happens is the mental struggle that comes from that to know that you live in a body that wants to do so much but can't. Your body does not work. And therefore, the physical attack. The second one is mental. Many of you are, are healthy, clean bill of health, can run, jump, jog, all you want to do. But your mind is messed up. Many of you are dyslexic. You, you're, you're ADHD, schizophrenic, your emotions are crazy, you're always crying, always depressed, on um, Prozac and this tag, all the attacks, your mind is, is, is fighting a battle, and you may be feeling good in your body, but every day you wake up and you wish you were dead, every day you wake up you want to go right back to sleep, you're fighting mental battles of depression. You want to stay in the house, turn the lights off, put the covers over your head, because the mental attack is so great. The next one is financial. Many of us, our bodies are okay, our minds are okay, but we're broke. We don't have the ability to make ends meet. Our lights are cut off. Our cars are repossessed. Our houses are in foreclosure. This economy is going crazy. And many people are fighting this financial attack right now as I speak. Things around you are, are chaotic at best. Because you don't have the money that it takes to do what you have to do. Many of you have children. And it causes stress because you have to feed them. You have to clothe them. You have to take care of them. Many men out there right now are going through many financial attacks because they can't take care of their families. So the finances is, is, is another attack that are common to most people. And the last one is relationships. Maybe you've never had a father. In this generation, they don't even have a good mothers. Maybe you've been touched by someone in a sexual way that should have never touched you. 
your relationships are screwed up. Now you don't know how to relate to the opposite sex. Now your brains are all screwed up. Many of you right now, your marriages are tore up. We're living in the highest divorce rate in U.S. history. Over 50%. People can't get along. People don't know how to handle conflict resolution. Friends break up all the time. Because we're injured in the area of our relationships. We don't know how to communicate. We don't know how to relate. We don't know how to talk to each other. We don't know how to be loyal. Where has loyalty gone? Where has the time gone when friends stuck up for each other? And I'm not talking about an evil doing. I'm talking about just basic support. Where well, we talked about four things that, that have attacked us. We talked about the physical, the mental, the financial, and in our relationships. If you can begin to analyze where the bullets are flying, then you can take cover and start beginning to shoot back. You don't, just because you're attacking these areas don't mean you have to succumb to it. There is a plan to try to wipe you out, but you don't have to fall for it. Begin to fight back. Begin to take the attitude that you're going to overcome no matter what attack is coming your way. All you have to do is look that enemy dead in the face and refuse to be a victim and be an overcomer. This is Andre Sweeney, the Life Specialist, and I'm here to help you. Give a life.